Of course, we love the story of Jonah. This is after the whale incident, when Jonah has got his confidence back. I don't know about you, but I don't know if that would give me confidence, being inside the whale, but it worked for him. So he confidently proclaims that it's time to repent. And there's two things I find interesting about this reading from Jonah. One is that Jonah is saying, four days more and God will take out the city. You only got four days and God will have his wrath upon you. And it says, the scripture says, that it was at that point that they repented. They didn't wait till day four, which if you're like me and maybe occasionally procrastinate things, this sounds like they were really getting the jump on, on, on Jonah. It's like, okay. I mean, who of us doesn't want to put off till the end those important sacrificial things that we have to do? I mean, if we could get away with, if you're the people of Nineveh, who are known to be kind of like a hedonistic city, well, if God isn't going to destroy us for four days, let's at least get three days of partying. Uh, you know, then, then we'll kind of, we'll kind of uh, fl- straighten up and fly right. But no, they did it right away. So for, for the people of Nineveh, who were not Jews, and Jonah was a Jew. He was called as a, as a prophet by God to a land of people that were not like him. And they listened to him. And they chose to do it right then and not procrastinate. The time is now. That's the message we've been hearing for the last week since Lent began. That's why we have seasons in the church, because we could always procrastinate it, right? Instead of four days more, we could say, oh, I got a few more years before I'm going home to meet God. You know, I'll get my act together at some point. But the church every year says, no matter when you think you're going to meet God, the time is now. So the people of Nineveh took him up on that. The other interesting thing about this story is that usually when we hear this paradigm in the Old Testament where there's a whole city or a country that is sinful and they get humble before God, usually it's the leader or the king that proclaims like he gets the guys with the trumpets, all right, we've done bad, come on everybody get behind me and we're going to repent before God. And it's then that they do the whole sackcloth and ashes thing. That was kind of common. But in this situation, if you notice, that's reversed. The people are the first to respond to Jonah's prophecy. They are the ones. They didn't wait for the king to tell them to do it. They all tore their garments. They put on sackcloth. They sat in ashes. And when the king got word of that, then he did the same. Sort of a grassroots movement, we might call that today. But I think there's, there's two things there that are for us. Because many times, don't we look to somebody else to kind of take the lead in our spiritual life or in our church or whatnot? And yes, maybe you've noticed we do have a hierarchical church, so that's kind of built in. But in this situation, it is the people. And in so many instances down through the history of our church, even some of our most significant theological pronouncements, like for instance, Marian theology about her assumption or about her immaculate conception. That, didn't, that wasn't from a boardroom of a couple of guys with red hats in Rome. It came from the people. So that's two things I think for us this Lent. The time is now, so don't wait, don't procrastinate with time, but also don't look to somebody else to get your spiritual life in order. I shouldn't either. The time is now and the person is me. Jonah teaches us that. Really, in fact, it's the people of Nineveh, who were the heathens, that teach us that. Lent is something for us to be seized. And yeah, there's stuff going on around us, and bishops and priests will say, we've got some, you know, activities for Lent. That's great. But really, it's much more about you and I taking advantage right now of getting our spiritual house in order not waiting to take a cue from somebody else or waiting a little while longer. The time is now and the person is me.